good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side versus Linux Mint 20.3 on the right hand side. So of course Linux Mint 21 has just come out, it's the more recent variant uh, there in terms of version in. Now, the biggest difference is here. So they're both, in this case, both XFCE desktop environments, both based off Ubuntu, but Linux Mint 21 on the left-hand side is actually based on the, the newer long-term service release of Ubuntu. So Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, whereas Linux Mint 20.3 uh, is based on the old version. So came out two years ago, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS there. And I'll show you what that means in just a hot second there, but let's have a look at the front end. Firstly, so you can see that they a bit of a much of a muchness. They look pretty similar. You can search for your apps. You've got your same uh, customization. So we've got the green icon app. So it looks like Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. We've got the wallpaper. We've got the start menu icon, and we've got the the grey taskbar down the bottom for both of them there. So almost identical, really. Well, uh, before I go any further though, I do want to have a look at the RAM usage on boot up because let's see uh, before I open any real apps here. And Linux Mint 21 running at about 560 megabytes of RAM on boot up, whereas Linux Mint 20.3 running on about 475 megabytes of RAM on boot up and almost 100 megabytes difference. And I think I know the reason why and we'll look at that in just a moment there too. But let's open the file managers. Now this is going to look like much of a muchness. The versioning might be a little bit different there though. Let's see. Uh, yeah, not a great deal of difference actually. Yeah, pretty much the same. Right click. You've got the same basic options, open as root, open in terminal, open as root, open as terminal. Uh, you've got the green icon sets for both of them to keep in line with the Linux Mint theme. The popular one there, the green, the spearmint, the mint, whatever you want to call it, just mint. <laughs> and let's see. So this is where some of the big differences might be, really, is in the back end. So the latest release is using the 5.15 kernel. Whereas the uh, older release is using the 5.4 kernel. Now you're still going to get about three years of updates on uh, Linux Mint 20.3, but you're going to get a good five, six years on updates for Linux Mint 21 because this is the latest release. Uh, a lot more, probably about, actually, probably about the double the amount of time of updates now because this is not near in its end of life, but it, it's getting a bit closer, is all. Now the good thing about a later kernel is you can generally have access to later hardware or the feature sets of later hardware, graphics cards, GPUs, CPUs, microcode, sound cards, uh, Wi-Fi cards in particular. So yeah, it is generally a little bit better there. But that you're going to pay a bit of a, a RAM hit, so it seems, to get that later kernel with that, all that later extra functionality there. Uh, we'll also take a look at the software managers. Now, I suspect these are exactly the same. They are pretty similar, even amongst different distros. So these ones, even though a version apart, this is going to be pretty, pretty similar here. So let's have a look. Got to wait for the second one to load up. But basically, it's the software manager. They give it a different name. They call it the Mint Install. Maybe Mint Install Manager. Give it a different version in two to your standard XFCVE variants. But hey, uh, let's see. So I might just expand all this open hmm, doesn't want to work that's fine okay so basically we've got the editors picks categories and your search options up the top right so get what you really want there a mixture of both open source and proprietary software most of which is always free unlike say windows or mac so that'd be about that Okay, well, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.